Hey, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for um, a night of prayer and worship tonight. It's Wednesday, and I'm pre-recording this video because I wanted to record it from the courthouse steps here in Lenaway County. Um, this building right here carries with it a history, a, a history that um, is remembered and a history that cannot be ignored. And right now, as a nation, we are facing a time where we can no longer choose to ignore history. We can't ignore what's happening around us. We can't ignore what's happening in our culture. Right now, we are in a season where there's injustices that are happening. When, when the breath of a man can be taken and people around the United States can watch, listen, whether the no matter what the color of his skin it doesn't matter because you see what we have to understand is that's wrong and tonight we have a moment to gather together and worship and declare God as King and Lord and sing songs that declare that that he is worthy of it all that he's worthy of our praise to declare songs that that say that he is a brother who loves us and he's a father who loves us that he he is our king that he is our lord there's so many different phrases that come to mind when we think about the goodness of who god is but tonight i want to focus in on just a second and i want us to focus in on on a season that we have to understand there have been horrific moments throughout our history that have destroyed the very fabric of who we are as people like literally there are things that have been deposited into you and i that are destroying who god has created us to be i mean think about this we are all created in the image of god listen each and every one of us all of us created in his image there is no there is no superior race there is no superior group of people no we are all created in god's image in his image in his likeness and there are brothers and sisters who are hurting and they've been hurting this is not a new hurt this is just a hurt that's risen to the surface and and i just want you to know that i'm in a season right now and i believe we as a church are in a season where we can no longer look the other way we can no longer stay silent that we must hear and we must listen to the cries of those who are around us. And yes, many of us don't know what to do and we don't even know what to say, but it's in these type of moments where we can dare to dream that there's something better, where we can dare to dream that God would want to renovate the hearts of his people. This building behind me is being renovated and I'm praying that today that God would begin to renovate our hearts. For me, that's what I've been saying. God, search me search my heart and if there is anything in me that is not of you remove it and listen there are some areas in my life where where i have i have some stinking thinking <laughs> there's some things that have to change inside of me and i believe this that it's through prayer and seeking god's face when those things begin to change inside of us and i want to challenge you tonight to just start this night of prayer moment right here by just saying first off god search my heart search me search me in fact right now could we just do that together god would you just search us right now god that would you just search our hearts would you search us right now god and in, in in searching us god we just ask that you would forgive us of sin god we pray that you would forgive us god of of moments god where we have characterized or or held to certain things judge things before they even even were able to be in that moment god just search our hearts god and remove the things that are not of you god i thank you that as we ask you to search us that you do that and god i pray that in these next few moments that you'll continue to help us to understand who you are and what it is and what you're doing and how you're speaking to us Amen. You know, I wonder tonight, um, as you're watching this, if maybe you're struggling with just some of the thought of, I just don't know what to say. I just don't even know how to pray. 
maybe maybe you're struggling with I just I don't even know what to say in a moment like this so what do I say to those who are around me listen there is no guilt and there is no shame in those who are in Christ Jesus so I don't want us to to have guilt that we carry no I just want us to repent and say God if there's things in me God remove those and then that we would then love one another that we would love those who are around us and I was watching this video by Pastor Robert Morris and it really just spoke to my heart and I think it gives some great perspective for us on maybe how we could simply see the other side. What I'm going to do today is address racism and talk about uh, how the Bible addresses racism. We have a problem in our country, and I believe, obviously all of us know Jesus is the answer, but I believe the reason we still have this problem today is because of the church. I don't believe the church has taken the stand that the church needs to take. And I want us as a church to take a stand. Now, when I talk about a, a lack of understanding, uh, let me show you a scripture. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Uh, they, they just don't understand. I, I don't think that we have really understood the depth of this problem. And so let me, let me give you an illustration. Um, so here, here's a water bottle. I haven't opened it. It's got water in it. And if, y'all, if you guys could get a close-up of, of that water bottle so everybody can see it at every campus. Okay, so what, I mean, let's see, there we go. All right, so what, what do you see on that? What, what word do you see? Ozarka. Does everyone want to see that? Okay, I don't see that. I don't see the, the word Ozarka is not on this side. I see the words born naturally, and then I see some words that are too small to read. <laughs> okay, but we're looking at the same bottle, right? Everyone, right? But I'll never see what you see unless I take the time to walk around the bottle and look at it from your perspective. Are you, are you following me? So we have a, a problem in our country mainly because white people don't understand. It's really true. And we need to take the time to walk around the issue and see what our brothers and sisters are seeing and see what they're feeling. But we'll never know unless we ask. Instead of simply arguing about a protest or a demonstration or something like that, why don't we sit down and say, what are you, what are you hearing? What are you seeing? What do you feel? And not see it as an issue or as history, but as people. What's the perspective that you and I need to see maybe? I wonder tonight what it would look like for us to say, God, show us the other side. What if tonight we let go of the way that we have always thought we've seen things? And in the process of looking and seeing the other side, we would recognize that there are those who are hurting. There is injustices that are happening and it has to stop. And we can be a part of the change. I know for many of us, you may feel like, how can I be a part of the change? You can pray. You can ask God to search your heart. You can love others. You and I can be a part of the change. Like we believe that God wants to restore our community and restoration happens in our community when you and I actually say, God, here I am. Use me. Use me. I'll be a part of the conversation. I'll listen. Use me, God. God, help me. And so, Father, we pray for our dear brothers and sisters who are hurting tonight. God, we don't understand and we can't comprehend, but God, we know that you do. And God, we choose to listen. And we choose to pray. And we choose to say, God, heal. So I pray, God, for our dear brothers and sisters. God, who right now are facing racial injustice. I pray, God, that you would comfort them as only you can. 
the anger they're experiencing, God, may you help them. The hurt and the pain and the fear help. And God, the lack of understanding that so many of us experience, God, help us to understand. Help us to be a part of the solution. Help us, God, to love those who you love. God, we are all created in your image. So help us, God. God, sound the alarm of our heart, God. Sound the alarm of our heart, God, to see as you see. God, even in the midst of this traffic that's around me, God, I hear the sirens. I see these moments, God, and I know that there are people who are around us who are hurting and they are looking and they're saying, I need your help. So God, I pray that you will help them, God, to see as you see, God. God, help us, God, to know and to recognize, God, what you're doing. And God, may we rush to the scene. Just as that first responder is rushing to the scene. May we rush to the scene. And may we listen. And may we love. And may we stand. But may that standing come after we've spent time on our knees. And that's what we do tonight. So God heal our nation, heal our land, heal our nation and heal our land. God, we turn and we repent. God, for historical racism, God, that is around us, God, we repent. God, for racism that is still happening, we repent. God, for racism that would even be in our own hearts, we repent. God, search us. Search us, God. And God, like an emergency vehicle to the scene, rushing to the scene to provide help, God, may you rush to the scenes of our hearts. And God, may you help us, God, to see as you see, to love as you love. And God, help us in this conversation. Help us, God, to love and heal. We need you, Jesus. We can't do this on our own. We need you, Jesus. You are the answer and you are the hope. But we can't just say, Jesus, Jesus, and that's everything that's needed. Sometimes we have to listen. So help us to listen, God. Help us to listen. Help us to feel. Help us to comfort. Help us to love. God, thank you that we can worship. And God, we look forward to the moment when we can worship together in person. And that day will be coming soon. But until that day, God, we thank you that we can also worship because you are living inside of us. Your presence is living inside of us. So tonight, as we continue to worship, God, may we lift our voices and may the songs that we declare be songs of freedom and songs of declaration and songs of love because you are a loving and great Father. So we thank you and we worship you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Help us, God, in this season to see as you see, to feel as you feel, and to love as you do. In Jesus' name, amen.